Hobbies. Welcome everybody to Stockpile Hobbies. I'm Kim and welcome to the review of Bella Parker from Rainbow High. I hope that you are enjoying all of our content that we've had so far and if you haven't go ahead and press that thumbs up and subscribe and we'll let you know when our next Rainbow High review is going to come out. Today I'm going to talk about series one Bella Parker she is amazing. I absolutely love her pink hair. She's so cute. Look at her. I just can't stand it. This outfit is adorable. I love her accessories, which we'll get into, but just looking at her at the outside of the box, she is amazing. Let's look at the back of the box here. You'll see right here it says Rainbow High Pacific Coast, and then it's got a picture of everyone. Down at the bottom, it says, meet the students of Pacific Coast High, the most elite fine arts high school on the West Coast. Here are the days are sunny, the classes are poolside, and the drama rolls in and out like the tides. Absolutely, right? <laughs> I just love it. I just love it. So let's get right in so we can take a look at all of her beautiful details that she has. I have finally gotten all of the items loose from the box. As you know, MGA likes to use tons of tiny, tiny, tiny attachments. So it takes a little bit of time to be able to get everything out of the box to be able to show it to you. But here we go. I love, first of all, that she has so many cute accessories. They're adorable. I'm not a fan of pink, but I have to tell you this time... I'm really enjoying them very much. So here's what she comes with, all right? Uh, she comes with her standard comb that everybody always gets. So hers is a light pink with sparkle in it. And then she also has her stand. Pretty easy to put together. Just push that in. And I like this stand because it's got the thinner attachment on top. I don't know why. It just seemed to be able to get the girls in a little bit easier. You can maneuver them in and then you can pose them the way you want to. So I like that it's a little bit thinner on top. It's just my preference. I know some people like the ones that are a little thicker, they're a little sturdier, but I kind of like the flexibility of the thinner one. That's just my personal opinion. And then at the bottom, as you can see, it is says rainbow right there. All right, and the next item that she comes with is her signature rainbow bag, ready for the beach bag. Oh, and I forgot to take it out. <laughs> but it always comes with a nice little bit of plastic to hold its form, which is always good. But it's pretty sizable, so you can put a few things in the bag. I'm sure you can roll up the lovely little towel, and you can put in the flip-flops and you know maybe maybe even her glasses too but I don't know because she I think is probably gonna wear them all the time that's how much I like those glasses but this is really cute it says RH on it and then it also has the rainbow on it I like it it's got some really nice detail to it um, it's a little bit eh, on the inside some of the details they could have maybe covered that up but you know you only get so much time and money, so you can only do what you can. But that bag is really, really adorable. Then she also comes with her signature sunglasses. Look at that. I love the uh, styling on them. It says rainbow on top and high on the bottom. I will show you what she looks like with them later. It's adorable. She also comes with... Some cute little rainbow high flip-flops. I love the detailing on them. They say rainbow all over the bottom. They are light pink and then they have some like gold wrap. But they're super cute. Super cute. Easy to put on. She currently has flat feet on and so these sandals will fit perfectly. Then she also comes with her own rainbow high towel that you can roll up and put in the bag. Very cute. I love the little detailing that they have on it. It's really nice and soft too, which is uh, 
which is nice. It's not something that's rough. It's very soft to the touch. So nice detailing. It also, she comes with alternative legs, and I will show you those in a little bit, but they are for high heels when she doesn't want to wear her sandals from the beach. Another thing that has been added into here, it has directions on how you can change the legs. It shows you step-by-step step what you want to do and also to be able to tie on sandals or any extra stuff like that. The last thing it also comes with is the MGA thank you for purchasing our product item and if you want to leave comments you can do it via paper or you can also check in on the QR code. So that's interesting. I haven't seen that in any of the other boxes. This is something new. All right, let's get right down to the lady of the moment, shall we? Miss Bella. Oh my. Okay, you guys, let's take a close-up look at her. She's super cute. I'm going to put her sandals on because she's ready to go to the beach. Isn't she gorgeous? Look at that. She's got the most beautiful light pink hair, very soft curls. For once, they didn't put a ton of the shaping gel. That's what I'm going to call it because I don't know what it's called. It, it's very lightly gelled, so it's really nice. Her hair is very flowy. She's got light pink makeup on, and she also has her rainbow high hat. So I didn't take off the clips of her hat because I thought it just sat so well. I'm like, oh, how cute is she? I don't want to take it off at the moment. Maybe I will if I want to change her outfit. But right now, I think she's just having fun in the sun. Uh, next down here, she has her signature rainbow high. Uh, what do we call this? A little sun skirt, beach skirt. I don't know, super cute. It Velcros, so it comes on and off really easily. It's very light. And then she has her Rainbow High Special Paris outfit, her little swimsuit here. And as you can see, that just pulls on. It does have a little bit of Velcro in the back for easy on and off, but that's about it. And then you will see here is really great because her, with her having her bathing suit on, you can see how she's fully articulated. So her head doesn't really move too much, just a little bit side to side, so just a touch of articulation. And then her arms, fully movable, elbows, wrist joints as well. They don't move as much. She's got some really cute light pink nail polish on. I'm not sure if the camera can pick that up or not. But uh, she also can move her legs in and out and she can twist her thighs for alternative poses and she also can bend her legs too so really easy really easy but that is what miss bella looks like and uh, i will show you how to be able to change the legs because i know some people maybe haven't seen them it is something that doesn't happen on all of the dolls but she does have it so i want to show you that I wanted to show you what she looks like without the leg. If you are going to change the legs, I would suggest um, that you have um, a good firm grip on it because it was actually pretty good challenge to be able to get the bottom of the leg off. But what I did was I held right here, right below the kneecap firmly and gave it a little wiggle back and forth and I also held up here and then that way it would pop off but it really does take a little bit of a you know a bit of a strong hand to be able to get it and then all you have to do is just line it up as you can see it's square just like the bottom half here so you can't put it on backwards or anything it won't let you do it the wrong way and then you just pop it right in again you got to <laughs> You gotta have some good strength to be able to do it. Get everything lined up. We'll try that once more. Maybe I'll do it with my dominant hand. That might be helpful. Uh. 
as you can see, it definitely is a challenge to get on. I do have left leg, left leg. As you can see, there is a little L right in there. So you know you have the proper leg. I'm not sure why it doesn't really want to go on for me at the moment. I did it before, no problems. I will tell you, I really had to give it a good wiggle to get it back on. But all I did was I held it backwards and I kind of moved it in that way and then it finally took. But uh, it's definitely tight. The legs will not fall off easily. <laughs> So there's no worry about her just losing a leg here or there. But uh, that is Miss Bella. I hope that you guys have enjoyed this review. And if you haven't checked us out, we've got lots of other fun things on our page. We've got Rainbow High. We've got Transformers. We've got stock car racing. We've got lots of fun stuff that I hope you'll check out. And if you haven't subscribed, please go ahead and do that and hit that thumbs up button so that you're notified next time that we put out a new video. Thank you so much for joining us and I hope you enjoyed the review of Bella and we'll see you next time.